So thou, O son of man, I have sent thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast to deliver thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why would ye die, O house of Israel? You can love them if you want to. Israelites, it is important that you remain alert. The scripture said your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You do not want to be the next victim, the enemy devour. Israelites, it is important that you examine the people you live among. Nothing has changed from the times the heathens falsify abolishing slavery until now. You are not free. You are the only group of people that is publicly murdered and nobody is held accountable for your blood. The scripture said the wages of sin is death. In addition, everyone has to give an account for what he or she has done and said. The Most High holds everyone accountable, regardless if you are an Israelite or a heathen. The Most High held Cain accountable for Abel's blood. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. As for you, nobody is held accountable for your blood. Our own people assist their adversaries in exterminating their people. Today, we live in a society where a white person can murder a person of color and the law would justify the killing. We have seen multiple occasions where a white person is upset and threatened to call the KKK in their acceptable police uniform to kill you. They have zero remorse. Once they are exposed for their bigotry, the beast system that supports them will find an excuse to why he or she should not be held accountable. The USA has gone through many civil wars on race and discrimination. There are countless museums, housing memorabilia displaying how this nation has overcome discrimination and racism. Yet the hatred towards black people increase in every generation. Black people go through the same cycle of hate and discrimination in every generation. The perpetual hatred towards Israelites from the heathens transfer from one generation to the next. Most heathens have no clue to why they hate you. Most are following family traditions that was passed down from one wicked person to the next. A nation that is founded on the genocide of one people and enslavement of another group could never be at peace. The nation has too much blood on its hands. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horseman lifteth up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. 
and there is a multitude of slain, and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, that selleth nations through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. The superpower nations that worship the kingdom of darkness would never find peace. Satan's kingdom thrive off of division and chaos. The kingdom of darkness with the assistance of the synagogue of Satan will work all the time to make sure unity never happens. Division continues to dominate all heathen nations. That is how the kingdom of darkness remain in power. The USA stands for the United States of America. This nation is supposed to be united, yet the spirit of hate, division, and countless other foul spirits are destroying that nation. I don't know how can a nation that was never great become great again. This nation is great for the heathens and Israelites that support the kingdom of darkness. The people live under an illusion. If every nation breaks the covenants it made with the kingdom of darkness, the people unite and submit to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, the kingdom of darkness would not be the kingdom ushering unity. Light has nothing in common with darkness. That is why the propaganda media could never speak truth. Their role is to keep the people divided and influence the people to do the will of Satan. The beast system that runs this world would never support righteousness. Anything that promotes righteousness is from the Most High. Because the world do not know the Most High, they will not submit nor serve the true Elohim of Israel. The wicked love their idols and the lust of the flesh. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Israelites, it is time that you realize you live in a hostile environment. Regardless of how non-threatening your non-Israelite community appears to be, you live in an unwelcoming environment. In every generation, Israelites remain hopeful, believing the workers of iniquity are going to see the light and stop being wicked. The people who choose the less of the flesh are doing what they're supposed to be doing, being an adversary. Your loyalty is not going to win their affection. How many generations will pass for you to realize they are confederate against thee? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The kingdom of darkness with the synagogue of Satan will not treat you fairly nor respect you regardless if you abide by their man-made laws and you submit to their standards. You can be the sweetest black person in the world. The workers of iniquity will find ways to criminalize you. For example, a black man going out for a jog lost his life due to a heathen taking matters into his own hands. The beast system has given these people the right to treat you this way because of the countless incidents where the government for the people by the people did not hold the criminals accountable. The beast system gave the heathens the green light to do as they please towards you. That is why they are confident to approach you boldly with their guns. The Most High said, if you live by the sword, you would die by the sword. Then said Jesus unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. As the wicked heathens have done, it will be done to them. The man's accuser made the world believe he was running from a crime scene. It did not take much to convince the world to transform the man into a cold case. If you go back in time, the heathens have a long history of falsely accusing Israelites of crimes. Nothing has changed from the time of chattel slavery until now. If the mindset of the heathens have not changed since integration and abolishing so-called slavery, why do Israelites put their trust in the offspring of the very people who brutalize you and continue to harm you? The synagogue of Satan's media transformed the jogger into a criminal by justifying the killing when they made no arrests. The beast system transformed the killers into American heroes. The same repetitive story, just a new day and a new victim. Who 
whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Israelites are out of touch with reality. The aggressive behavior from your oppressors towards you should not surprise you. No Israelite should ever say it is 2020. Why is racism and discrimination still exist? Nothing has changed from the enslavement of our ancestors until now. Slavery morphed into mental captivity. That is how your oppressors continue to rule over you. Whoever controls the mind controls the body. Too many Israelites share the same mindset with their oppressors. Whatever their oppressors dislike, they will dislike. That is why they have no problem killing each other and degrading one another. They are repeating the behaviors of their oppressors towards their own people. An Israelite that is lost in the beast system is accustomed to oppression and brutality. When a person such as myself reveal they are the chosen people of the Most High, they cannot receive the good news. The oppressor said it does not matter. The sheep repeats what their Savior said, it does not matter. Although you are sharing vital information that would save their life, they cannot receive it because the synagogue of Satan who control their minds disagree. If the oppressor tell them the good news, they will gladly receive it. Many Israelites in the truth and in their slumber does this unknowingly. The Most High said a prophet has no honor among his own. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. The opinions of their white savior is programmed into their minds to have the final say. I have had many Israelites in the truth shared with me that they spoke with family and friends about the truth of their heritage. Many profess their family and friends reject their inheritance and act aggressive towards them. The heathens act the same way. How can you tell a person they are the apple of the Most High's eyes? loved and chosen. In addition, they have a rich heritage. Take offense and reject the message. The kingdom of darkness has too much control of their minds that they cannot receive the good news. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Israelites, Mental slavery is not an excuse not to combat your enemies and defend yourself. I believe COVID-19 is the trigger many Israelites needed to wake up. This pandemic is revealing a lot of information to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. The kingdom of darkness mental conditioning of our people do not have the final say. Just because we have been through years of bondage, it does not conclude we have to endure bondage forever. Our ancestors went through the Egyptian bondage. When they suffered enough, they cried out to the Most High for help. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. Our ancestors did not sit around and complain about their situations. They took action. Israelites with a reprobate mind have to want to get out of bondage. If they seek the Most High, He will set them free. They have to make the decision to find freedom. The scriptures instruct us to cast down every imagination that rise above the knowledge of Yah and bring into captivity every thought unto obedience of the Most High. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Many Israelites serve the Most High with their lips and their hearts are far from the Most High. Because of the many years in bondage and prayers remain unanswered, many Israelites lost faith. They do not believe the Most High can help them in the land of their captivity. Israelites are hostile towards the scriptures and anything that has to do with the Most High. Because of their inability to change their situations, in addition, Israelites are mistaking their heritage for religion. A lack of knowledge is destroying our people. The kingdom of darkness used the beast system to disconnect many Israelites from the Most High. Therefore, when Israelites pray, they are praying to idols. When they seek, 
They are seeking the heathen's idols. The Most High despise the sin of idolatry. You are held accountable for your iniquities, regardless if you are not aware of the sin. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The kingdom of darkness through the beast system set up religion to make Israelites believe they are praying to the Most High. In actuality, they are praying to idols. The scripture said, my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The scriptures went on to say, because Israelites reject knowledge, the Most High will reject his people and they would not be a priest to him. Your poor choices are keeping you in bondage. Israelites have a history of rejecting the Most High. Presently, Israelites are rejecting their heritage due to a lack of knowledge. The scripture said to get wisdom and all thy getting get understanding. The scriptures also say if you wish to have wisdom, ask the Most High, he will give you the desires of your heart. Many Israelites rather seek the heathens in the kingdom of darkness for answers. You will continue to suffer until you humble yourself and follow the Most High. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass, when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shalt thou answer them, Like as ye have forsaken me, and served strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. For some of our people, it's going to take extreme measures to wake up. Every Israelite needs to understand that we live in a hostile environment. You are on a battlefield. Your enemies are waging war against you. You have to start protecting yourself and fight back. When the enemies of our ancestors descend upon them for battle, our ancestors did not try to negotiate with their enemies. Our ancestors did not befriend their enemies. Our ancestors did not stand there and let their enemies kill them. The first thing our ancestors did was humble themselves before the Most High. Once they humble themselves, they seek the Most High for answers. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria, and behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar, which is En Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared, and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. Our ancestors cried out to the Most High for help. They followed the precise instructions from the Most High. Our ancestors asked the Most High to deliver their enemies into their hands. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. And it was so, when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. Then David inquired of the Lord yet again, and the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Kila, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. Once our ancestors got the confirmation they needed from the Most High, they went to battle their enemies. As long as our ancestors were serving the Most High, Yah gave the Israelites victory over their enemies. And he said unto them, Follow after me. For the Lord hath delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. And they went down after him, and took the fords of Jordan toward Moab, and suffered not a man to pass over. So David and his men went to Kila, and fought with the Philistines, and brought away their cattle, and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Kila. Our ancestors took action. They did not resume to business as usual after praying, fasting, and asking the Most High for help. Some Israelites, 
Once they are done with fasting and praying, they go back to doing what caused them to be in this predicament. Some Israelites watch television and log on to social media to see what is trending, eating junk food while waiting on the Most High to come fight for them. Our ancestors physically got up and went and fight against their enemies once their enemies declare war on them. And Deborah said unto Barak, Up, for this is the day in which the Lord hath delivered Sisera into thine hand. Is not the Lord gone out before thee? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor, and ten thousand men after him. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war. And the Lord delivered Chushan, Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand. And his hand prevailed against Chushan, Rishathaim. And the Lord delivered it also, and the king thereof, into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof as he did unto the king of Jericho. I hear Israelites say, The Most High will deal with them. I hear Israelites say, The Most High will fight for us. I hear Israelites say, We are waiting on the Most High to deliver us. Israelites, the Most High is waiting on you. You must get up and take action. Until you get up and pursue the Most High the right way, you will go around in circles. Your enemies will continue to rise above you and destroy you when they are bored. Moses slew the Egyptian that was attacking his fellow Israelite brother without fear. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens. And he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Moses became fearless when he saw the mistreatment of his brother from the hands of their enemies. Moses did not care about the consequences. He took action. Where are those warriors in Israel today? Our people have no problem fighting and killing each other. Once it comes to their enemies, fear overtake them and disable them. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to him that did the wrong, Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? Israelites, before the heathens unleash their diabolical plans, they seek their idols and follow the instructions from their idols. The workers of iniquity made the necessary sacrifice the idol required and take action to fulfill their heart desire. Before the rona was released on the people, a worker of iniquity submitted to the will of Satan and took action to carry out the plans of the kingdom of darkness. The rona did not magically appear. The workers of iniquity created the virus in their lab to carry out the plans of Satan. The kingdom of darkness used countless heathens to bring to pass what he desired to do in this generation, China, America, and many other nations. The workers of iniquity did not come up with a plan to kill millions of people through biochemical warfare and vaccines, then sat around waiting for an unclean spirit or Satan himself to come put the plan into action. Satan used his people to do his will. Israelites, if you want to be delivered, you must take action. You cannot just pray, seek the Most High, and take no action. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. You have to take a step to follow the instructions of the Most High. Your enemies will try to destroy you regardless if you fight back or not. The decision to rise against your enemies is yours. I am here to plant the seed that will motivate you to collaborate with the Most High to deliver you from the hands of your enemies. The Most High did not wake you up just for you to go back to sleep. The Most High awaking you out of your slumber to deliver you from the mental captivity. Now is not the time to become complacent. The Most High is with you and he will fight for you. Israelites, you must do your part. When you move, the Most High will move. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness.